I know burpees would feel like this. Uh, I don't think an elliptical or recumbent bike would though. Oh. Welcome to Workout 18. Everyone here should be coming from that last cardio alert mandated 20 to 30 minutes outside. We have another unilateral workout today. That's the single leg or single limb uh, exercises. Bilateral movements are amazing. The squat, push, press, row, pull up. They're all balanced, but that's rare in life and rare in sport. Unilateral, we want more fluid motion, more single leg drive. Rarely in life or in sport are you perfectly balanced and in control. Yes, that lets you lift the most amount of weight, but we're challenging ourselves with the uh, single leg movements today. So let's get into the workout and see what we're up against. Today's workout's in two parts, four sets in the first. We have the single leg deadlift, sort of similar to the Romanian deadlift, but this is a bottoms up move like the real deadlift. We're picking from floor up, back down, not starting top to bottom. Rep range for that's gonna be slightly less than the last workout with the Bulgarian split squat, <laughs> shaking still. 15, 12, 10, and eight per leg. We're gonna match those reps for the single arm chest press. So again, not balanced with two weights. We're suffering, struggling, uh, straining the core through the center to keep stability on the single arm movement. 15 per arm, 12 per arm, 10 per arm, eight per arm. I'll do a few sets off the ball and the two sets off the bench for that one. Last is a side leg up. You can do that holding on to anything heavy behind you for an anchor or just hands in front. We'll stick to 12 per side because those are just nasty. In part two, we have three sets. We're putting in our first true segment of conditioning. I use the term cardio alert because it has a nice ring to it, but cardio is your cardiovascular system. If your heart's pumping and blood's flowing, you're doing cardio, so not very appropriate. We like to use the word conditioning. So my conditioning is gonna be 400 meters on my rower because I have one sitting there right beside the camera. The time it takes me to finish that segment will be the time you guys are enduring at home. You can use any machine you might have beside you in the room. You can do skipping running or sprawls and good news is skipping you can do without a rope just mimic the motion running you can run on the spot or do really fast high knees it's all the same and sprawls are just nasty burpees if you want to go the extra distance enduring that for the same time it takes me to endure the row piece of cake off of that we're going to do a few variations of the alternating press so again not at the same time but working one side separately we'll do a, a bottoms up and a tops down version kettlebells dumbbells fine and then ab mat sit up or a towel rolled up right below your low back, 25 reps, piece of cake, three times through. Let's get into a quick warm up and get after it. All right, for warm up, just have a mat nearby for two moves off the ground, two light dumbbells for rehearsing the alternating press. And then if you need to or want to, a bench or something to throw your foot up onto for the single leg deadlift, floor is just fine. So let's start nice and easy with those hamstring sweeps. Ugh. And I know coming from the split squat and deadlifts, everyone's probably thinking, what the heck is leg training? All I feel is the back of my legs. So I promise you in our next workout, we'll actually go with some big quad dominant squat patterns just to prove that we don't just destroy the glutes and the hammies. We'll get at the actual quad as well. Keep sweeping here. Yeah, I feel, again, commenting during the workout is pretty tough, but everyone let me know if you came off that run with sore quads. I always say you could work out as long as you want in the garage. You try to go for your first run, your calves get destroyed. It's just proof that real world functional movements aren't the same as training inside a gym. Awesome there. Let's go with our nice wide stance. Double pulse the floor. Pulse, pulse, high reach. And every time you go down, reach a little further between the legs and work yourself, see if you can reach right back between or past the heels. Big reach, down, up, down, up. Two more, boom, up. Big backward circle. Okay, if you have anything to hold on to, you can just brace with one hand. This is the cheater Romanian deadlift kicks. So we're just bending over, freezing the upper body and swinging, I don't know if I can get a better angle there, freeze and just swing that back leg nice and stiff. And you're gonna feel that bottom hamstring pull and stretch. And we need maximum range in the hamstrings today. If I forget to say it later, the deadlift, you can definitely stilt up onto something or if it's just beyond your range, 
you uh, don't have to touch the floor. So you can just pretend you're starting from mid shin height. Next side, load and brace that straight stiff back. Nice stiff kicks. The higher you kick, the tighter that bottom hamstring should feel. Good, try to keep your hips square. No opening up. I always try to keep the back toe to stair or point straight to the ground. So don't open up and be lazy with it. Force everything closed and only go to the height that you can get being totally square. All right, good enough there. So mat or just flat on the floor, we'll lay arms blade and do that scorpion kick. So I'm laying down here, Ugh. arms out. We're gonna pin that shoulder, roll over into it, sit there for a sec. Uh, this is a nice shoulder clock or scorpion, I call it scorpion kick position. Come back out, move this hand down a little bit. We'll pick four positions. You can start low, come high, gets tighter. I'm gonna go down this time to make it easier and I can roll in a little further. Gotta feel the pecs each time. If you don't feel the pecs, then you're out of position. So you've gone too low here. So if I'm too low, I'm just gonna be rolling over my shoulder. That doesn't do anything. Too high and you actually just get stuck reefing on the shoulder joint. This leg can come all the way to flat if you can get it there. Uh, next side. Pin the shoulder, rolling over. Uh, I'm riding the same weak batteries as last workout, so I need to watch that mic level. I will catch you before you die, Mike. Back in, different position, come up higher with the hand. Uh, this is the same as the pec wall stretch, except you get to add this big leg kick and lower back stretch as well. And again, don't do anything static, we're always in motion. So there's always a little bit of pulsing or undulating while you're warming up. Okay, in honor of the single arm chest press today, push-ups, I'll let you go off the knees for this if you can't hold your full body weight. We're gonna try to shift and drop down heavily weighted to one limb, come back to center, double out, back over for single in. So it's kind of a circular push-up. Okay, so I'm shifting over making this hand work about 75%, this hand 25%. Oh, nice and slow. The negative should be able to handle that. Cheat to the top. Back out. Maybe six, seven or eight per side. Good. You can worm out. You can stay on your knees if you have to. Make yourself a little lighter. Or by now you have your favorite bench box or back of the couch that you know you can lean on to make these easier. Okay, go on the second side, up, over, make that arm work. Shift, come back to square, get back up, over. Last one. Good. Okay, and then we'll go into the single leg deadlift rehearsal. I'm gonna get my two dumbbells ready. All right, so best cue is if I just said stand on one foot and pick something off the floor. The Romanian deadlift, we're nice and high. Everything's about posture here. Leg doesn't bend too much. Now I need to still primarily use the hip hinge pattern, but there's gonna be a little bit of knee action to come down, take a penny off the floor and up. You can definitely hold on to something if you need to, to rehearse that with side profile. We're still way more in the hip hinge movement, not in, whoa, in a squat movement. So kiss those Bulgarians goodbye from last workout. Hinge today, don't squat today. So let's do a few more. Single leg, pick up the penny, boom. Back leg is still counterbalance. Picking up that penny, boom, and boom. Next side, hinge down to get it. Okay, so if you're really tight, you're gonna get to a little more leg bend, or you can see this plate here, you have a target that's a little higher to you to get off, get up. 
Three more. Boom. 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 Good. And then I'll just show you, you guys can keep going. A little easier variations. I'm going to use the bench. You can have the bench there, foot's just for balance. Again, Bulgarian squat. Ooh, do you still feel that? Single leg deadlift. Okay, and we pick from the ground, up and down with a nice loaded back. You can't be rounding to get there. So foot can be up on the bench, or we can do the kickstand version. But the kickstand deadlift is 50-50. Kickstand for this move would be very light just for balance. So same, same, but different than the RDL. Now double dumbbells up, last move here, alternating press, piece of cake. So from the shoulders, we can do alternating up, copy me, one, one, two, two, not seesaw, so not at the same time, done, 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 okay, now go top down, we're locked out, drop up, drop up. Obviously this one's going to be way harder because you're enduring in that lockout. I don't want to burn us out, but that's the gist. So let's get into set one. Get ready for the single leg deadlift, single arm press. I'll start two sets off the ball on the ground and then I'll go to bench and we have the uh, nasty side leg ups. So see you there in a sec. All right, starting set one, 15 per leg, single leg deadlift. I'm gonna use the bench for two sets to show you how to assist the balance, and then I'm gonna do a true freestanding single leg deadlift on the last two sets. So let's go 15 per side now. Modification videos for balance and ease are on the side as always. So watch my setup, dropping down, just like the Bulgarian split squat. Squatting to the bell would be a lot of leg action. I wanna hinge down to the bell. Brace, ooh, opposite arm as leg picks up the weight. And we're primarily going for hinge, okay? Not too much ankle and knee motion here. It's gonna move out slightly. And then I promise we'll leave the backside of the legs alone. Whenever you're doing single limb, there's a lot of reps, takes up a lot of time, so we can move pretty quickly through these. Again, light back leg, hinge to get the weight, and it's a bottoms up rep. So we start low, brace up, and down would be one rep. I got the 50 pound kettlebell, 53 pound. and you will feel that in the hammies. Okay, down to floor. Again, so true floor pressing with no ball. Doesn't really get you the range of motion we're after, so please get a slam ball or just get a cheap bench so we can do these moves how they're supposed to be done. So single arm now. Normally I'd be balanced. I'm gonna posture up in the same leg. Has to do a lot more work to keep me stabilized. So this glute should start firing. 30 pounds, 15 per side, just to get us going here. Nice, switch side. Kick that leg out. You're gonna shift over slightly so you're not balanced on your bench. The edge of the bench should be right down your spine, which I'll show you in the third, fourth set. Nice. Audio check. Okay, and I'm just gonna use this up right here. Well, I guess I won't use an upright for the first set. So 
the side leg ups. Okay, we go to our 45 degree roll, hands to the floor. We don't have to kick like the candlestick. We're just gonna keep stiff straight, boom, down. So try not to lift your hips. Starts easy, gets really tough. And our upper body is in the hollow lock. We're not letting our spine come in and out of uh, tension. Keep it tight the whole time. 12 per side. Push your hands into the floor. Uh, there it is. So again, straight up, turn 45 degrees. These are a little more fun holding on to something behind you. If I have my slam ball here, just gives you a little anchor to pull off. There it is. Set one done. Meet you back for set two. I don't even think we need a water break yet. Okay, back for second set. I went to 216 kilo bells now, so 33 pounds per hand. 50 pound dumbbell now. The heavier that press gets, the more torque goes to one side, so the core's gotta wake up to stabilize that single arm press. Here's the setup again. Starting with my foot I left off on. Okay, we're not squatting to the bell. Big hip hinge, load that back. Brace 12 per leg. Remember, it's bottoms up. So if you need a break, you rest at the bottom. You don't stand and rest at the top. Good. And any deadlift numbers you're used to, ooh, throw them all out the window because single leg knocks you way down. Whoa, balance. And if you're really tight, you can't make it to the floor, you could just pretend the floor is a little higher, come up and down to that position. That's fine. Two, one. Hip hinge to the floor. We're good, here we go. Okay, pressing on the ground. Again, starting with the arm I left off at. Drag this puppy near me. Two hands gets it up. Oh, ball. Go over your ball. Okay, lean into the poor man's bench. I'm gonna extend, same leg kicks out a little bit wider to brace, core tight. Drop it down to this side. Getting up on the ball, kickstand this leg further. Down. Get that out of there. Okay, now I'm gonna grab this upright. That could be grabbing a dumbbell, kettlebell bench, bottom of a couch. Okay, grab upright and turn 45 degrees. Don't crush the mic. Leg lift, down, not a candlestick today. So just quick, up, down, up, down. Hold that 45 degree tilt. 12 per side. Bend your knees if your back starts to hurt. 
bring in that leverage. Doesn't have to be fully extended. That's it. Water break, breather. I'll see you back for set three. Okay, set three, 10 per side. I got rid of my bench. So a true single leg deadlift off the floor. If I set up like this was a barbell deadlift, boom. Okay, I got my hinged loaded position and I just switched to one leg. That's my start position there. So this leg can do whatever it wants. You can keep it down for some balance. We're gonna go for 10 per leg here. So I'm coming down, loading, primarily the big hip movement. Don't squat into it unless you're a little tight and you have to get down a little lower. And good balance challenge. Got to stop on the ground because it's a bottoms up rep. Ooh. Ooh, screamer. Wow. Oh. Okay, next side. Single leg, hinge to get there, slight bend. Excellent. Clear it out of the way. Okay, I put the bench backwards so you guys can see what happens to my body shift. I have the 50 pound dumbbell still. I'll start with the left hand and I'm gonna try to line up my spine to this edge of the bench. So it really puts you in a shift. Whoa. So my head comes over. And now I really gotta kick the side leg out to balance. This shoulder wants to fall and droop now, and you're trying to resist that. 10 per side. Legs burning. Shimmy over, shimmy over. Let me sit up to switch hand. Kick it back. Again, square on the bench. You're still pretty much supported. So you gotta get that shift. Uh, almost off the bench. And then brace your core like crazy. Leg up, catch the weight, let it sit you up, escape properly. Then I'll do my leg ups in front here. For me holding onto the upright still. So a little 45 degree turn, quick leg up down, no hip lift for these ones. I like to just let go of my bottom hand. You can keep it on the floor. Top hand holding a nice isometric lock. That was 12. Ooh. 
Set, set four. Let's get to it. Set four, eight per side, keeping the same weight, went up to a 60 pound dumbbell on that bench. So if going with the leg I finished off with, maybe I'll use this back leg just as a little assist, no weight on it, trying to get that hamstring tight, not really pushing through the leg. Down, shake out that burn. Next side. That's it. That was seven and a half technically because I walked out of it. Whew. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with the right arm. Eight per side. Use that one leg to kick the dumbbell up. Brace it while you get the shift. I can feel the bench straight through the center of my skull. Brace. With this top end, I think about drawing a bow and arrow. Draw back. A lot of grunting. Switch hands. Kick it up with the leg. Get that shift on. Same leg kickstand. Two more. Leg comes up, weighs you up. Perfect dismount. Okay, last 12. Leg lift per side. Start opposite, opposite side again. Without the butt lift, you can kind of take these quick and that makes the difficulty go up. The kick kind of slows you down. If you want to get up, up and do slow negatives, that's cool, but I just want to get the quick 12-12. Good. Get the bum shift. Other hand can brace into the ground. Oh, well, that was a little bit of burn, but I'd say kind of easy. So get ready for that nasty conditioning segment coming up for the next part B, part two, three sets. See you there. Okay, part two, set one, 400 meters on my rower. You guys at home are on the machine of your choice or you're doing a skipping or the fake skipping rope, running on the spot or sprawls for that conditioning segment. Fortunately, I'm a really fast rower, so this shouldn't take too long. Let's go, 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 go.
halfway. Almost, almost, get to the last reps, 20 meters, boom, there it was, so not bad, I'm, whew, just enough to piss us off, uh, okay, catch your breath from that, we're going into the alternating press, I'm using two dumbbells to start, and we'll do bottoms up. Okay, okay. Don't want to rest too long. Think about it, think about it. Okay, dumbbells up. Bracing the body. One, one. Fifteen. I'll call it there. Okay, ab mat on the ground can just be your sweater lumped in a little baby pile. It supports the lumbar curve. When you use an ab mat, sit on the ground, pull just until you feel body contact. You can go shoe soles together or full butterfly spread. So I'll go shoe soles together to start. Oh, <laughs> ah. Landmine, you stupid thing. It's like five times I've been battling with that. Touch floor overhead. This is stupid. Am I in frame? Hands touch floor overhead, touch past the toe. So floor to floor. Spin around. More. Or really whip your hands to get up. I'm really slow at these, so I gotta do 20. You guys can do 25 if you're faster. Okay, minimize rest. I'm going straight back to it. I want to get these three sets over with. So, just a quick sip of water if you need it. I'm going right in, resetting distance. And here we go, round two. meters halfway
300, 100 to go. Fifty meters. Got it. Oh. Oh. Uh. If you're one of those people that lets go of the handle on their ergs, unsubscribe from me and get the heck out of here. Don't disrespect your equipment. Uh, treat it with respect. Okay. Uh. All right, I'm going to go double yellow, top down, alternating press now. Catch your breath just a little bit longer. No, oh, that was good. That was good. Whew. If anyone's into the concept machines, I was holding a 134 pace there. That's, that was my goal for the 400. All right. Got your double imp implement. Maybe just one implement if you're really tight. Bell's going up, locked out. One down, one down. Eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Ah. Ah. Woo, that's tough. Don't try that unless you know you have your overhead mobility. Okay, 20 at mat sit up. I'm gonna go full splay this time. How big is my splay? Hey, pretty good there. Okay, so we go back, up, and you have to touch your heel line. If you have any zippers on the back of your shorts, switch your pants or get on the mat because I've seen some nasty cuts. Oh. Think about catching your breath on these movements because you're going right back to your last round of conditioning. How's my battery life? Pretty good. Three. Two. Good. Okay, right back to the conditioning element. So get ready with your choice. You can mix it up if you don't have machines. Strapping in. Uh, resetting. Here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Hundred. Ah. 
halfway. Legs burning. Hundred to go. Come on, try to push. Ah. I know burpees would feel like this. Uh, I don't think an elliptical or recumbent bike would though. Oh. Give me a moment. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's a high burst we want with a nice recovery out. That's something you just don't get going for a slow jog on a Sunday. Okay. I'm going to try to top down one more time. Let's get ready for that. That's it. That's all I got. Six percent. Oh, the left was feeling a little slower. Ooh. Okay, final sit-ups. Final sit-ups. Back to the foot together. Make sure you touch. Say, 20 reps of freedom there. Ooh, one workout left, which I promise to be a quad burn before our next special workout. Gavopoli, a game of chance. Rolling the dice. That's going to be a fun one. I thought Bruce would come in to see you, but I guess not. So, appreciate it. Get someone else to do these workouts with you. Challenge him to it. I'll see you guys back for workout 19. Oh, f ankle clack. Oh.